This might keep you safe in your hotel room. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. You know I like going to hotels. You know, the cheapest, seediest hotels I can find. And sometimes they have the little chain on the door. That's to keep you safe. Maybe sometimes it's a little flipper. But this might be the perfect device for keeping you really safe. Let's check it out. All right, so before we get into the demo, I just want to give you a close-up look at this so that you can kind of understand how it works. First of all, you get this little pouch, which I actually like because this is something I don't think you'll necessarily use at your house. It is something that you will take with you in your luggage when you hit the road. You're staying in a hotel, in a cabin, somewhere maybe where you're traveling abroad, and security is more of a risk. So, kind of a funny contraption here, but what you can see is that the two pieces here which are tethered by this little chain, actually have to come apart. So you can kind of see how this red piece, kind of this pie piece, is wedged into this piece. So we've got some turned up edges right there and it's kind of wedged in. So I'm gonna just push it like that and now it will come out. And you can see here that we have, I don't know if this is polymer, but it feels kind of like a hard plastic. And then you can see we have this floating slider right there, right? So that's how this will kind of cam into this piece. You won't lose them, which is nice. Now this piece, is the plate that will go into the door jam itself and you can see here we've got kind of a large opening standard door the smaller i don't know it's more of like a deadbolt opening and then this inner piece here so this is what will go into your door and then this piece will go into here and kind of make sure that that door stays shut so let's go ahead and try it and see if it works all right, so I'm gonna actually try this on this door here. This is actually a door that I've tried some of these keys before and they have not worked for various reasons. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this up and go ahead and slide this in here. You can see it actually has two teeth there to kind of brace it in place on the top and the bottom. And even though this piece here is not that thick, this is a very tight door jam. So I'm hopeful that I'll be able to close this. So let's go ahead and see if we can close this door here without Get my fingers in there. Okay. And all right. Looks like I can actually close this door here. And now it's closed, just like it would be. You can see that it's not opening, but I could just turn the handle here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this piece and put it into the hole right here. All right, so if I just tilt this down because this piece floats and then I can just kind of lower it down in here, get it in this little opening there. I'm gonna have to fuss with it just a little bit, kind of rock it back and forth. I kind of like am letting it fall down like this and I actually think it'll work. It'll probably block that door. But what you wanna do is you wanna lift it up and push it down so that it kind of wedges down in here and pushes that door shut like that. So now it's acting like a wedge in there. Now if I try to open this door, yo. Know, that is not working. And I tell you what, I actually really like this because, like I said, I've had some that are too thick to fit in this tight door jam. And because I have this trim here, some of the pieces that have like a blade that comes out that you screw down and press against here, have to press against the outside and the inside simultaneously. So if you don't have a flush surface, something like this that is pushing on the trim and the door at the same time isn't gonna work. The door is actually gonna open up half an inch or something. But I couldn't get this one to work with this door, but this one will. And so what's nice is that regardless if you have a big, thick exterior trim like this, this one is still gonna work. So this is actually my favorite little door mechanism lock. I thought it was a little over-engineered, but man, it works and it's going to accompany me when I go on my trips in the future. So if you wanna pick up this guy, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.